very happy for, for Devin and, and all his teammates that have been a part of this all the way through. Um, we've talked many times about what the kind of player he's been, the kind of person he's been, how humble, how hard working he's been throughout this. Um, for him to get it, I just did a post game radio and they said I'm so happy that he did it in front of our home fans that are home away from home for the season and not on the road. It's a special moment for him. Um, you know, uh, He's done so much for us on and off the field. He's done so much for us this season. He's run physical. He's been a good, very good receiver out of the backfield. Um, I thought he had another outstanding game today. Lance, what, what, what would you say is the most overlooked part of Devin's game? You know, I used to think it was more just his vision in part, but I, to, me, to me, I think this year what's really stood out to me is ability out of the backfield. I think he continues to challenge himself as a pass protector, and uh, he, he's willing and wanting and, and things like that. But I think the one that this year has probably been the plays he's made out of the backfield and with receptions that's probably stuck out more than the previous years. You guys have a lot of success offensively today, especially in the first half. What stood out to you most about what you guys were able to do offensively? I'm sorry? What, what stood out to you most about what you guys were able I, to do? I think the balance in which we were able to create and, and, and for a team, for a defense that, you know, is one of the top 15 defense in the country and one that prides itself on not giving up a lot of big plays and really forces you to drive the field, we were able to find some scenes and get behind some people. And it was, uh, you know, I, um, I thought Jeff had a really good feel for what he wanted to do and got in a nice rhythm and a lot of things were working. And uh, again, the, the, the ability to balance that with the run game and some of the things um, really gave, got us off to the start that we needed. Coach Jalen had a couple of really long completions over 60 yards to talk about. The first one especially that regained the momentum and then the fact that he was able to go. Yeah, you know, it, that's when he hit Grim on right away. I think, again, we were able to you know find some scenes on some verticals and, and for us to answer that because that was a a really good drive, uh, an impressive drive for them to go 99 yards so quickly on us. It was like, oh boy, you know, you know, they, they really found their stride and, and had a plan for us. And for us to answer that quickly really kind of settled it back down and got it back to neutral, I guess, for us. And it was a big play. Coach, you know, obviously, Iowa State, you know, scores first and you guys respond quickly. Yeah, it was, it was great to see. I think like many of us said, as we've talked to these um, after every every game, we, we've been waiting for something like this at times. We felt we had the potential to be that type of offense and team. And uh, I think we've strung some games together now where we played pretty well, but to be able to, to put that many points up early was, was great to see. But at the same time, it's kind of like an NBA basketball game where you know it's going to get close at the end somehow, some way, and it, and, and it did. And uh, but for us to find a way to, to, to make it happen and, and sell and, and pull out the win was good to see. It's good when you can take a knee to end a football game. Lance, could you speak to keeping the team on track emotionally through through the difficult times? Well, Blair, it's a, it's a great question. I, I really credit our, our leaders and our, and, our, and our upperclassmen all the way through this, our strength coach, Matt Gildersleeve, all our coaches, because the things that we talked about really from, from day one in this program is, is about a process of continually getting better, being coachable, working hard, control what you can. I know those are very cliche words in today's sports world, but when, when you start telling your players to own what's on film, and, and again, I, the, this group has played enough and understands enough that they could see where, where we had come up short, and they, and they didn't make excuses and they owned it. And they could see, though, if we can get these things better and corrected, we're going to win some football games. Today was a very important, obviously, game for us in a lot of different ways as far as maintaining an opportunity for bowl eligibility, which you know I don't really want to ever really talk about in June, but I will at this moment because it was important for us to do for this group to keep fighting and, and having purpose each and every day for, for what the expectations were to start. And for this group to continue to work, and I've said it in here before, and I don't know if you've been at them, Blair, is, uh, you know, I, I haven't had, a, I've had less guys in my office this year 
talking about opportunities of playing time, targets, carries, snaps, at any time since I've been here. And, and, it's, a, and it's, a, it's an understanding that, that I think our players have, have come to understand what it takes to, to, to get those opportunities and to do and to own what we haven't done well enough to win football games. And, it's, and no matter how this plays out the next three, I'll always be proud of this group for handling it the way they have. Lincoln's, what do you think of Mel's interception? Did you feel like that punched the game on the sideline? Or it, it kind of did. I thought Kobe had it at first. I, I always congratulate Kobe. I think it's up two or three. It's those darn blue numbers and stuff. I don't know who it was. I was Travis said. I'm not playing. But, uh, um, no, uh, but yeah, it was, it was a, you could feel the momentum. It kind of shifted there. We're going to need something. It's one of those times, though, you know, you kind of think about it. It's, you, you're kind of just waiting for one of those two corners to make that type of play for us because they they stepped up at, at, at big opportunities and for him to take it all the way I couldn't really see from my from the ground level like what the path was to get in there. If I heard somebody say he's going to score, and, but it did probably you know help put put a, put a nail in it as best we could. Hey, Coach, um, a big day for Jalen. Uh, you said earlier this week that his best football was going to come down the stretch. So how proud are you of him, and, and what did he do well today? Yeah, again, I, I saw it at halftime. I, I left my stats somewhere. I didn't see where he was. I'm totally on the day, but I, I don't know percentage-wise if it was eye-popping, but I thought he made big throws when we needed him. And again, I, I continue to think even when we were taking some shots, I, I mean, you know, it's the other thing. I, I, I think we did a good job of was we stayed aggressive, you know, and then we just didn't sit on the ball at times. We were trying to be aggressive and, and do some of the things almost like we did a year ago against them. By, by not just trying to run the clock out and trying to you know sneak away with the win, but uh, I thought Jalen made great great decisions, and uh, you know we, we played uh, turnover free football. Lance, can you see the confidence kind of growing in Jalen week in week out? Yeah, I you know again he was you know again he's always smiling you know ninety percent of the time, but you know it's uh, it's one of those things where you can see him kind of feel that. He's feeling good about what he's seeing. He's feeling that he's prepared. The game plan fits what, what he wants to do and what he can execute. So when, when you see him feeling good about that on the sidelines, that even if a series doesn't go our way, he's confident enough that we can come back and, and make, make a drive after that. Go to John. You had some three sacks, five TFLs. What did you see from your defense up front? Yeah, you know, I don't know who had them all. You know, but to see us play that aggressively and, and, and make those plays when we needed to. Um, I don't know if Ron McGee got a sack on that one or if the guy got back to line, the quarterback got back to line scrimmage. But Ron McGee's a guy who's in his, like his sixth year with us. Lost him last year to an ACL during fall camp when he played, was playing his best football for us. He's had a long road back. Today was the first time he ever got, he stepped on the field in two years. and. Uh, for him to get a play, if you saw on the sidelines how excited his teammates were, and how happy they were for him, it was it was great to see him being a guy that's in there making plays. I thought we played hard and we scrapped up there to put pressure, especially I thought second quarter we were able to be very disruptive, and uh, you know, and that in the fourth down stop by J.B. Brown was a big time hit on the sideline. That was a huge play. Hey Lance, uh, how big of a motivator is it to play? the big 12 spoiler with the games coming up. How big of a motivator is well, that? Well, I don't, you know, I, you know, I guess we'll kind of be in that spoiler role if that's what's labeled. I, I guess we just have a chance to play meaningful football yet for us and, and, and play well down the stretch. We talked about making a second half season of things in the back six games after our first open week. Um, you know, I, I, I feel this is still a good football team, no matter what disappointment we've had to go through, and we have we have an opportunity to finish strong. And, and, and if that means we were a spoiler along the way, so be it. Um, you know, there's there's chances now that we'll play ranked football teams almost exclusively down the stretch, and we did two weeks ago, we did here again today, and then we'll probably have the next few weeks for sure. And it's it's challenging, and it's and can be exciting because I think we can maybe, you know, resurrect ourselves and from some of the things that didn't go right the first half. All right. Thanks everyone. Thank you everyone. Thanks, coach.